Hi there, when I uh, machined the base plate the other day for the um, Stuart half beam engine um, I was really really disappointed that the coaxial indicator gave an incorrect reading um, now it might be that um, with me machining some rough casting maybe that was the cause of it but anyway um, Peter aka Model Steamers he suggests that I uh, carry out a simple test to verify whether or not it's working correctly. So in this video I'm going to carry out that test. So the plan is to lock the X and Y axis. I've put a piece of aluminium in here. Um, I've set the DRO to zero. I'm going to drill a hole in here around about 12 millimeters. Then I'm going to uh, put the boring head on and open the hole up to something like 15 or 20 millimeters. Then I'm going to replace it with a coaxial indicator and hopefully the coaxial indicator will register the spindle as being still on centre. So the table is still locked down. I've put the coaxial indicator in a 10 millimeter collet. Just move it in here. And this is the acid test. I've cleaned the hole up. The hole's about 13 millimeters in diameter. Well I've opened up the hole a bit more and we'll uh, give it another try. So again it's very close. So the slightly larger hole is around about 17 millimetres in diameter. Difference there of about what two increments? which is less than a thou. So if I try and correct that, um, adjusting the x and y axis, It's pretty close. And if we look at the DRO, the x axis uh, was adjusted by a thou. So, still pretty close. So, now I've decided to uh, open this hole up to around about 23 millimeters. I'm just going to give it a uh, finishing cut. A couple of thou.
Well that again looks okay, it's within half a thou. Well having slept on it, I've had a bit of a eureka moment. Now, when I was milling the casting, I was using an R8 collet chuck. For this test so far, I've been using um, an R8 collet. So what I've decided to do is just to change the R8 collet for this chuck that I originally used and to see what the readings are now. And lo and behold it's out. And if you look closely on the edge here it's just rocking slightly. So what I'll try and do is I'll put a gauge on here to see what's what's going on but it's obviously something to do with the uh, the collet chuck. Well that certainly seems to be the culprit the collet chuck because the gauge is rocking the body of it. So I'll repeat the same test just with the R8 collet so I'll remove the chuck element. That's far better. So I thought I'd check the run out actually on the um, collet chuck and uh, that looks okay. So the uh, error must be in the actual sort of clamping nut or the collet. Um, so what, what I've done is I've swapped, I've got another clamping nut here. I mean, I checked the other one and all the faces were, were clean. I'm just going to try it with this different clamping nut. Well, this is with a different clamping nut, but I've still got the same problem. So I can only imagine it's the actual, sort of like the taper uh, inside the collet chuck, where the collet goes. Because uh, everything is, is clean as a whistle. Um, but hey ho, I think we got to the bottom of it anyway. And as another check, I've just put this 10mm cutter in there and uh, it's a couple of thou out, even just close to the uh, the actual collet. So I guess, you know, the longer you go, um, the more magnified that's going to get. So definitely suspect is that. Well, I must say that was an absolute brain teaser. Um, but I'm really pleased that the coaxial indicator seems to be okay. Um, I suppose it's dead easy to blame one tool uh, due to the inaccuracy of another one. Um, but anyway, it certainly looks like um, that collet chuck is suspect, so I'll have to uh, bear, bear that in mind in future. Uh, but anyway, I'd like to thank uh, everybody for the help and support and advice provided, and uh, I hope some of you found that useful. So uh, I'll see you later.